Uh, good day, Tom here again, uh, the Secretary of the RPBU, uh, just on my regular catch-ups. Uh, sorry, I've been away for uh, a week or so, uh, doing a bit of camping, a bit of glamping on Strati and, and Fraser, where they're back now. And uh, just want to address the lockdown that we've just come through and how council uh, backflipped or did an about face is probably a better uh, explanation on their previous arrangements with their, with our at-risk drivers. Previously, our at-risk drivers uh, were stood down and, uh, and they were paid for the duration. This time round, so they, they've adopted a, an, an approach where the drivers must approach them. You know, the at-risk drivers must approach them, even though they know who they are. And uh, once that's done, the drivers can then access their own uh, sick leave holiday leave, including their, their long service leave. Okay, now. So that's that's the about face that your employer has you know, this time. Okay. And uh, I think that that's unfair, considering the fact that we are essential frontline workers. Uh, these guys were out there, they, they, they're on high risk categories, they're over 70, they're over 65 with chronic illnesses, so, uh, and they're out there in, in their role as a bus driver, having contact with the public. Not fair that they should have been uh, put in that position. But seeing as they were, and every other driver that was out there during the, the three days, a four day lockdown actually, and now we've got a two week mask mandate, uh, where uh, there is still community transmission of the deadly Delta virus out there. Uh, all of these bus drivers who have worked, certainly through the lockdown and through the mask mandate, Council should now be giving us vaccination leave. That is leave to go and get vaccinated if we haven't been back if you haven't been vaccinated before, or leave to get tested uh, for uh, because of the situation that you have just been through. That's the, the union's position uh, going forward, and uh, and we will be letting council know that that, that is what we want because you are out there day in day out uh, in the midst of a pandemic doing your job contact with the public and uh, you should be protected your, your, your employer's responsibility is to do everything possible to protect you uh, and make you safe at work and they, they better do it okay next thing uh, i want to say is uh, just regarding uh, our casual exploitation dispute. Uh, coming up, uh, we are we are approaching uh, some appearances in the commission regarding this uh, later in the month. But we're also organising a rally in town, where it'll come from Parliament and we'll march up through George Street to uh, We ha we haven't been given permission to uh, end it at uh, City Hall. Surprise, surprise. So we will go through the Roma Street Forum. But we will be saying no to casual exploitation, amongst a few other things. We'll also be saying, uh, we'll also be asking council to uh, do something about its women problem. Uh, less than 10% of uh, bus drivers are women. Why? You know, that's a big void when other, uh, other councils around the place have a much higher percentage of women uh, employed. Council's shaggy, you know, the dirty dunnies that we, we, we've got to put up with, you know, that's Shrimmer's shame as well. You know, we'll also be saying no to the wage freeze. You know, it's time to end the wage freeze and give us a pay rise. And uh, also, we want them to uh, start bloody building these electric buses. If we're going to have electric buses, we can build them here in Australia. You know, we have the technology. We don't need to go to China, we don't need to go to Europe. We don't need to go to South America. You know, that's hundreds of millions of dollars uh, in leaving the, the, the local economy. That's our money that council is spending and sending overseas uh, to, uh, to to bolster the economies and, and the job securities of, uh, of people overseas, you know. And uh, that money should be spent on it. Yeah, we can build we can build electric buses here. We can build the metros here. Uh, Australian uh, technology is uh, is second to none, and 
then that's what should be happening and that's what will be uh, one of the things that we'll be uh, rallying about you know and I, I think uh, the Prime Minister calls it sovereign capability and that's what we should be pushing you know yeah but okay that's just about it for me from uh, for me how long have I been going I don't want to go too long but uh, I'll catch up with you next week thanks